Well, I ran into a situation where I had to uh, do some spooling uh, and doing it doing it manually uh, really takes a long time to put everything together and create all the sheets and everything. Uh, one of the biggest things is just like <clears throat> getting all the spool numbers in all the fittings and everything. Uh, that was that was one of the biggest things I was running into. So I uh, basically your options are either to use a third party software to help you with that, or try to find a free one, uh, or uh, make your own using either Dynamo or C Sharp. So I wanted to. Uh, I just. I had to do the deep dive and figure out how to make my own because the free stuff was most of it didn't work, <laughs> but uh, or or just not available. Couldn't find it, so I had to uh, make my own little add-in for it. Um, so what what it is is uh, you can see up here it's. Uh, the KOTC tab and it contains uh, little buttons I made for doing certain things like uh, it'll, it'll give you uh, parameter information on any part you select that, that button will and that'll show you just about I think everything there is to show about a part uh, and then if you select multiple objects, that button there will show, uh, yeah, actually that's just showing one item too, but, uh, but the big thing that I, that I had to come up with was, uh, being able to create spool sheets and, so when I click my create spool button, I get this pop up here. This area here is for if I'm doing hangers. Um, and this will show you some information on some of the stuff you got selected there. Not that I, I haven't really used it, but it was just giving me information that I needed to center on certain things. But uh. Uh, basically this will create a spool an assembly off, off the selected objects uh, and just do uh, some kind of naming using a standard convention uh, go to zero one then click create spool and this this will give you uh, this just a quick pop-up to make sure I was capturing the right stuff and what that did is now down here you can see the assemblies it created an assembly with the spool name that you gave it and it does a gives you a 3d view which that still needs to be needs some uh, tweaking but the big thing I, I wanted was the schedule that was what I was really after uh, because what this does is it, it assign spool numbers to each of the pieces even even the pieces that are the same that identifies all the same parts <clears throat> gives the same spool number to them and another cool thing about the schedule is like it's got uh, fabrication parts and families in here uh, like you can see that closet flange is, is a family and then it also includes the pipe so this this is actually what I would put on the final spool sheet you know after after I, I finish uh, creating creating what I need for the spool sheet um, so I just wanted to show show that uh, you know it gives you all your pipe cuts all your fittings and the other one was 
with the hangers that which that turned into quite quite an ordeal but basically I select all the hangers that I want to create a spool for spool sheet for and then I click uh, click the create spool now this time I, I make sure I I, I keep that the DOM hangers click because what that does is it it changes the takeoff for the hangers and you have to manually put in the the ceiling height for now um, and then you go SP uh, level one bum hangers zero one <coughs> create spool and you see that one didn't do the pop up I got it turned off on the uh, the hanger one what that does is it gives oh geez I gotta fix that but this is this is the end product of the of the spool schedule so you got your your spool number what type of hanger the size of hanger elevation from ceiling from floor and gives you you know your ceiling height and then add for your banger and then your hanger takeoff and then it'll give you your rod count or your rod length and how many of each rod so this this was a big one uh, that I needed because we had a ton of uh, hangers we had to prefab so this this really helped out um, of course there's a lot of a lot of tweaking and changing fixing stuff I need to do and improving like adding, you know, the sheet and different views to to the assembly to get a complete complete spool. Right now you have to do it manually, but just this right here saved me a, a ton of time uh, creating the schedules. That because that to me that's one of the most important things on the on the spools was the schedules. Uh, so you know what material you could just fab all the material or, or package it all together and drop it in areas that's that's what we were after so this really helped out a lot but just wanted to show show what can be done there that was all with C sharp uh, creating that and, and now that I that, uh, that I can get access to all the part information pretty almost do just about anything you could you could imagine with Revit now. But thanks for watching.